So beef empanadas. I'm going to start off by making the pastry very quickly, okay? And you can buy the pastry if you want. Like, there's a lot of good companies that sell empanada discs, and they're not that easy to find. So this is an easy recipe, slightly modified, which will be really good for you guys at home. Yeah, and look, I actually do love that you're making the pastry from scratch, because I do feel that, although there are some really good pastry companies out there, a lot of the ready-bought pastries, I worry about. They've got hydrogenated fats in oh, there. Oh, yeah. And, Ingredients that you just don't want. So at least, you know, you know what quality of ingredients are going in there. It's super simple. Flour, butter, pulse, just so it forms breadcrumbs. At this stage, mm -hmm. we're going to add in one egg and then 120 ml of warm water with our salt, okay? So we've got five grams of salt going in there. It looks like a lot. It's not. Not with all of this dough. No, and no, then... and I have tasted bread before that's been made with no salt, and it is revolting. So salt does play... It's nothing worse. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's, am I right in saying, though, it's also not just about the taste, it's also about the function. Exactly. It makes it more elastic. I added in probably about another 20 mil there. You'll want to add in more, don't. You've got that beautiful dough. We're gonna wrap it in some cling film and leave it to rest for about half an hour, and then we're ready to go with rolling it out. Okay, for the filling, I'm gonna make a classic beef empanada. Okay, so okay. a really nice beef filling. And for me, beef fat. Into that, I'm going with lots and lots of diced onion. So into our diced onion, for me, if you can just cut the olives, like sure. just rough cut, mm -hmm. quite fine with the olives, and the eggs nice and chunky. So into here, I'm going with some garlic. I'm gonna add in the beef mints. I love empanadas with mints. You can also do it with like, you know, chunks of meat, you know, like stewing oh, beef. Yeah. You know, there's hundreds of different recipes, loads of different ways of cooking it. And depending of the region and country, everyone's yeah. got their own version of, of meat in pastry, basically. So at this stage, I'm going to add in the rest of the beef fat. And then spices wise, I'm keeping this quite simple. I'm adding some cumin and some chili powder. Now, you want to keep it cooking down a little bit longer just to really tenderize that meat. And at this stage, I'm going to add the golden raisins because I want them to rehydrate into the mix and into the meat and also add that natural sweetness. So we're just going to leave this now on a low heat for about five to 10 minutes just to help it cook down. We're going to add the olives and the eggs and then we're going to get rolling out the pastry to make the discs. ready to now assemble. We've got our pastry dish ready to go. The filling's cooled down. We've got a little bit of water to seal it. So what we're going to do is... Should I stretch this a little bit or am I... You can stretch it, but you can stretch it almost once the filling's there because then you know okay. how much you've got in. I always overfill empanadas. I overfill anything. <laughs> I just want to get as much <laughs> filling in there as possible. So you're just okay. going to tuck it in like this and then that's when you can then almost stretch it up with your thumb. Okay. And then you're meeting at both ends. Once it's in, you then almost pinch it and that gives you your rim. So I'm just going to do a simple two finger pinch. So one finger behind, thumb and finger on top, and then you just pinch in and seal it like that until you're done. Mm. And then straight onto our baking tray. Hang on. Mine doesn't look like yours does. It's because you overfilled it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Is that it? That's kind it. Of? Beautiful. Okay. We're going to get the rest done up. We're going to egg wash it, and then we're going to bake it in the oven at 200 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes until they're nice and golden. So 
So I didn't want to say anything, but we made four each. Four look like this. Oh, Luke. Oh, I'm hanging. And four look like this. Hanging my head in shame. Oh, Do you know I'm, what? They're... I'm a novice. <laughs> exactly. And if it does open, you, you know what? They still eat really well. So it does not matter. And we're still going to plate them. Actually, I'm going to give I'm you... I'm going to taste I'm that. I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> I'm going to taste that and tell you how good my one tastes. Mind you, you made all the fillings. But anyway. But guys, they're, like, once you've got them into pastries, you can freeze them. You can make a big batch. They last really well. And they're just delicious. And I put together just a really quick, simple sauce of grated tomato, olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. Beautiful beef empanadas. Great party food. I mean, look at that. Give it a taste of me now. Well, I'm going to dip it in. You know, you gave me some extra virgin <laughs> olive oil after all. Mm. That pastry, the layers, the crisp, the crunch, richness. What do you think? It's really hot. <laughs> I mean, temperature-wise. Mm. No, I'll tell you what, homemade pastry, I think that was a little bit of effort, I admit, yeah. but it's so worth it. Thank you. <laughs> Beef empanadas, give it a try.